So today we got our three common legal myths again, and then another bonus one that I've sort of covered in, in another video. So the first one is, it's okay to harass mediators and your opponent's legal team. So it is, it is not. I'm sorry, I'm having difficulties here. So I was already harassed uh, by Irish Demon, an associate of Kate's. And yesterday this was posted, which is starting, you know, a series of online harassment as well as offline harassment, vandalism, theft, privacy violations, and doxing. So it's been reported to the judge, the judge's clerk, to Kate's counsel, and uh, an affidavit was prepared for Mr. DeCastro. Number two, you can't have John Doe parties in a civil suit. So I, I don't know where this one comes from. Like, some smoking something. If you just Google it, it's, it's obviously not the first answer that comes up. So I don't know where this comes from. Yes, it's allowed. It's uh, definitely used a lot in automobile injury or any injury right where there's a child involved you don't want to use the child's name in fact uh in the ninth circuit federal court they pretty much est established that you have the right to your anonymity as a first amendment privilege and i don't know if chilling knows this maybe he does because of his john doe filings but a person that is anonymous online, their identity cannot be revealed unless ne absolutely necessary. In fact, the courts must pr protect their anonymity. So where their identification would be necessary to serve them with summons or subpoena, that would be uh, allowed, but it would also should be done under seal. It's possibly why Mr. DeCastro is doing Chili is doing his stuff under seal. So let's move on to the next one. It's okay for non-parties to delete relevant communication in an action. So it is okay for the non-party to delete it. It's not okay for the parties to allow it. The parties must do everything in, that they're capable of to prevent it. So, for instance, if Kate had a Discord server where non-parties were was deleting communications, she is required to disable communications if possible. If that's not possible, maybe shut down the server to preserve the communications that are already on there. Number four, a Discord server owner is protected by Section 230 of the CDA. Probably not. I mean, if you were an interactive computer service and you had a Discord server and you didn't participate as a user, you might be protected. But as some, just a regular person who sets up a Discord server as a user on, on there, they're not going to be an interactive computer service, first of all. And then second of all, any criminal activity on the server is not going to be protected. And other things as well, you can watch my video, How to Sue YouTube, where I cover that in more detail. Leave comments in the chat if you want. I'll be going over them probably twice a month with um, personal responses.